Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode of Dirty Tricks here on G4G, Games for Gamers within Marvel Avengers Alliance. You know who I am. So let's go ahead and jump right into the simulator. And I'll show you what I mean. So before I jump into this, basically the Dirty Deeds or the Dirty Tricks series here on G4G is going to be about really kind of disgustingly paired up people that produce very out-of-the-box thinking results that lead to really really fun combinations that I wouldn't say they're gonna be overpowered but they're certainly fun to look at on paper if they execute properly so I'm gonna jump right into the fight and then describe today's team up so you'll see here we have the Black Knight Doctor Strange and Agent Johnson in his scrapper suit. You might be thinking, how did these three go together? You've got a scrapper, you've got Black Knight and Doctor Strange. They're kind of magical, a little mystical. How do they work together? Well, I'm going to show you. It all is tied together from two things. Level 1 on, Blackest, on Black Knight and Dark Void going out by Doctor Strange. And we'll see it in action. Ah, yay. The Hydra Vanguard did not open up with the Stun Baton, which is, is really nice. And Doctor Strange goes pretty early, so that means Darkest Void's going to go out early. Okay, so what we have here is that on Black Knight, I have Wide Open equipped on his level 6. And you can see that that has already gone into effect. On his level 1, I have Incapacitation, because he does follow up with Ebony Blade quite often, so why not get some free stuns? I am going to hit the Power Armor. I have now buffed my team with Blood Curse, which says that all slashing attacks, if they didn't already cause bleeds, now do. If they do cause bleeds, they now cause an extra stack. So there goes Combo Breaker, which is pretty cool. Okay, so on Doctor Strange, we are going to put out Dark Void, which is going to do Dark Void and Bane. For himself, it's going to put on Thorns. For his Terracing Boost, the ISO that you should slot here is the Rising Up ISO. I do not have it. I don't feel like spending for it right now. I have Radiation Exposure on his Level 1. I have the Phasing, which is a personal ISO, on his Level 9. And he is using the Mystic Funnel. You'll notice that Black Knight is providing magic warding. Really helpful now that Null's World Breaker has switched over to magic. So now the entire team has Darkest Void. That is part one of the plan. Part 2 is Bleeds. Here is the agent tying both of the characters together like this. I have the Splinter of Night. Actually, really solid weapon to have now. Irrationality has the damage from tech attacks. There is a lot of things that are tech right now. Shadowbinder, guaranteed follow-up against enemies with Dark Void. That is on any attack possible, including quick actions. And now it causes bleeds because of Black Knight. So I now have two slashing weapons. This will cause two stacks of bleeds. This will cause one. Essentially, if the enemy has Darkest Void, the Splinter of Night has a chance to follow up on the attack and also cause a stack of bleeds, which helps Black Knight, Devour. There you go. There's the plan. These two weapons over here come together on the agent and bring Black Knight and Doctor Strange together or anybody who can cause Dark Void. So I'm going to lead with the Crooked Branch which says when I do magic I get a heal. If they do energy they get popped. And quick actions. So because I have the ISO that says when I do magic I get healed any non-quick action will heal me, and then the Crooked Branch says that any magic will heal me, even quick actions. So my agent becomes very, very tough to take down, because as you can see, 
he gets a lot of heals. So fortunately, the stun baton missed, which is pretty cool. So, so far we haven't seen Black Knight do any real jump-ins because nobody's truly bleeding on the enemy side. So now Sin is going to be bleeding. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to slow the battle down and get a heal out on my team. And I'm just going to rest because I want the reinforcements to come in. I'm going to leave that guy alone. We're just going to rest. And we're going to go ahead and give them a stack of bleeds, or two stacks of bleeds. An air sympathy and reverberation. That was double heal, one from the crooked branch and one from the iso. And any time the devourer fires off as a counter, it's going to count and it's going to heal me. Hopefully she gets her friends coming in here. I'm just going to go ahead and wait because we want to hope for the reinforcements. Because once again, Splinter of Night is not making a really good showing here. So Sin is definitely bleeding. We know that. But now we have Darkest Void on the enemy team. I'm going to renew Blood Curse. So he followed up because the enemy is... There we go. So here's the Devourer. Now the entire enemy team is bleeding for free. And I've double healed. So I'm going to do the Crooked Branch again. By using the scroll with the Devourer, the enemy team has Soul Fire, which means their buffs are removed. And any one of those people that was just hit could actually get a follow-up from the Splinter of Night. Unfortunately, it's not doing a really good job right now. So the Power Armor was stunned thanks to the Black Knight having that knocking on his level 1. Thorns over here just made that Vanguard bleed. So now, as you can see here, we can just put this away. So let's see if we can find a slightly different but harder battle over here. Mm. Yeah, let's go with Ymir. Ymir. Let's see if things will maybe work well on him. Valor is doing phenomenal today in its job. But Splinter of Night is not doing a really good job today. So there's Black Knight doing his tanky job, which is pretty cool. And the shield has really helped him out over there. So now he has a stack of bleeds. And he followed up on it, which is pretty cool. Oh, and I'm using the scrapper suit against the bruiser. Oh, that's that's brilliant. All right, so now the enemy has darkest void. There's that reverberation heal going on, and there's a stack of radiation, and there's the follow up from Black Knight because the enemy is bleeding. So that shield's still holding out, and there's a follow-up because the enemy's bleeding. So now, if I wanted to, I could turn Black Knight into a tank. I don't, because I want that blood curse to be out. The reason why I want that blood curse to be out is I want to cause the Splinter of Night to be able to do bleeds. And there's sympathy and reverberation because of the air. We so there's the follow up.
So I'm going to heal my team, slow the battle down just a tad. And I'm going to rest. So we want to see if the Splitter Knight can actually do its job of following up on anything that has Darkest Void. So he's stunned thanks to the end cap, which is pretty cool. Thorns caused him to bleed and hemorrhage. So there's Black Knight. He's definitely doing his job. And there's the Devourer. So that's what the Devourer is supposed to do, is follow up on anybody who is bleeding. And I did it wrong again. I should use the Crooked Branch first. Sorry about that. There we go. There is the Splinter of Night finally doing what it's supposed to. You noticed it followed up on a quick action. So now if the enemy was not bleeding for some particular reason, he now would be for free. And that's how this group is tied together. It is tied together through the Devourer, Black Knight's level 1, the Splinter of Night and Doctor Strange is level 6. Chris Ymir is going to take a little bit to whittle down because of the fact that his whole frost shield has not gone away. Let's go ahead and hit him with this just for fun. That would usually be a really big hit. Except for the fact that it's him. So for fun, we'll use the Splinter of Night, which the Devourer follows up on. And then the Splinter of Night follows up on. So this is what this group is supposed to do. Meanwhile, we'll recast this. And he dies to Dot. So there you go. There is a Volume 1 of MAA Dirty Tricks. And it centers around Black Knight. Now there will be some future videos around this. A lot of them will probably be tied to Black Knight because of that passive. But there will certainly be others. And as we know, today is the last day of the Spec Ops. We should probably get the Ant-Man one coming soon. PvP Season 22 has been in swing for a little while. Um, my defense, despite... Uh, Noel's little nerf over here, my defense, is doing good. They went plus 26 overnight. And that has made me not actually want to jump out. Whoa. So I took a, a lot of defenses since I last attacked. But there's the plus 26 over here. And they won up pretty well. So they're doing a pretty good job. There are times where, you know, they, they drop two out of three over here and they drop two for two over here but then they hit a run like this where they win two out of three so they're they're up and down but they're actually doing pretty well but i would think that your skeptics and your black knights might really come in handy now that this little change has gone into effect but i'm actually going to do a separate video on Noel and talk about him and how his changes uh, definitely affect him over here with the meteor swarm going magic because that is both good and bad so take care everybody hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think of this kind of wicked combination and uh yeah have a happy fourth weekend